Hello YouTube, hi, this is a short video. It's going to be a short video on how to make autofill very easy um, in Microsoft Access. Okay, so first off, I got a student table. I got some of their information right here. Now, I'm going to create a table uh, for classes. I'm just doing this for example. Class table. Okay, so you got your class ID and you want your um, class code. I'm going to make this a number and I'm also going to make it a lookup wizard. And I'm going to type the values I want. Let's do one, class 101, 102, 103. Okay, next. And I'm going to allow multiple values just in case. In case one student wants to do many different classes. Let's finish this. Okay, and let's go to class. Short text. Look up wizard. values I want. Let's do math, science, and English. Okay. And again, let's go to multiple values. Finish. Okay. Now what we're also going to do, because we're going to do a, a query with this, we're going to do so in the students, they have a student ID, so let's do that. Short text. Let's make it a number. And we're going to make a lookup wizard. And I want to get it from the fields from another table or query. Let's do it from the students. Let's take all the, all the items here. And let's do it with the last name. Next. And for this scenario we're gonna we're gonna have the student ID visible. Alright. But it's sorted by last name and first name. Next. Available fields. Store in the student ID. And finish. I'm going to save this. All right now, I'm going to close this out. We're going to create a query. We're going to get the class table and the students. See, they already joined it by a one to one relationship. See? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the student ID class ID. Well, let's switch it around. Okay, student ID. First name, well, last name, first name, address. Age, city, zip, and class code, and the class they want to take. Okay. Looks like a long query on here, but hit run this. Now watch this. You go to student ID. Wait a minute. Sorry. Let's edit that. ID from class run. Now when you go to your student ID, it auto fills across. And remember your class code, how is the list? Let's do 101 and math. Okay. 
And of course, you could edit these. Well, you could keep it to the list. You know how you can say you can do multiple? So there you go. All right. All right, so now let's save this. Query, um... And if you want, and you want to start your um, create form, there you go. Class ID is student ID. I make a new one. Say this guy. Class code. See, these are you could change these. Yeah, let's say 103. Oops, wait. Let's see 104. Class, let's say yeah, another class, let's say social studies. So the new, new one's going to be 104 and social studies. There you go. A new one and so forth. So all right. Uh, hopefully this helped a little bit. I'm showing just a little bit on making. Oh, let me save it. Uh, okay. So that's. A little bit in a nutshell on how to do autofill in an easier way in Microsoft Access and to yeah all right let me know uh, give, let me know like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below have a good day bye.